everybody! Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. This is the Duke Minecraft, and I have a crazy cool contraption to show you guys today. I made a new flying vehicle that also has transforming capabilities now. So let's just hop in the driver's seat here. We can also stack multiple seats on top of it, so it can transport right now only one person. Uh, let me just show you something real quick. So I have the gas engine set to the fourth down from the top. If you set it to the fifth down to the top, it'll pretty much not flip over. It's really hard to flip over because of these thrusters that activate when you hit the W key. So on this setting, it could flip over because it's a little bit faster, but it's much more fun. So this thing is just a blast to drive around. So much fun. I came up with a new steering mechanic on accident just because of how I got the controllers to rotate the pieces into place and I was this is just what I came up with so let's just park it right here so it also has a transform mode which turns all the thrusters like this and then you can take off and I might try and remap my keys so that I have one, two, three, and four as my arrow keys as well, because it'd be much easier to fly it like that. But that's basically all I'm using to fly it is these arrow keys like this, or I mean the number keys. So you can do all kinds of flips with it. It's really quite cool. Oh, let's go forward some, and level it out. Let's try to land it like back where we started I guess it's not quite as stable as my first flying machine but its drive mode is very stable and it transforms so I don't I don't mind the sacrifice <laughs> okay let's get a little boost Oop. oh little rough landing but there we go landed it right there and you just transform it into car mode now sometimes the thrusters will get stuck there because they have to squeeze past the engine but if you just activate it again like that you can fix that. Um, that was a short sight on my end. I thought they would be able to squeeze by and they still kind of do so I just rolled with it. But yeah this thing is such a blast to drive around. <laughs> I'm having so much fun just playing around with in my world with it and just trying to push the boundaries and see what I can do with this thing. So let's try to do this here. Oh, nope, <laughs> that's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> oh man. So if you do ever flip over, it's not the end of the world. You can just transform into car mode, give your thrusters a little bit of thrust, and oh, and flip over pretty easily because all the thrusters want to push you back down onto your tires. So. All in all, it's a super fun vehicle. I've been having a blast with this thing. Um, and in tight squeezes, you can also use these thrusters on the floor if you need like an extra bit of push in any direction. Uh, but most of the time I don't really use those. It has got kind of a wide turning radius, just how the wheels are set up, but it's just so stable. I love it. Love it so much. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video and checking out my contraption. <laughs> um, if you guys do like it, I might make a tutorial. Um, I'm going to put that in another video though, because it'll probably take some time to make. Let me just pull out the, uh, I'll put it in park mode here, and I'll pull out my uh, tool thing so you can see all the connections. So there's not too, too much going on. And some tr transforming bearing pieces like th there's not too many multiple I think it, there's only one uh, controller so it's not too crazy um, but it's such a blast also there's a radio of course gotta be a radio um, but yeah that's gonna do it for this video <laughs> thank you guys so much for checking this thing out and I hope you have an awesome day see you guys